boyfriend haul. So this is the one that I have. I met him in 2014, but he wasn't on the market yet. So in 2016, he was on the market, and I decided to see if it was a good investment for me. However, the timing wasn't really right, so it wasn't until the beginning of 2018 that I purchased this one. I don't know the exact month or day. It was a good investment for me. However, the timing wasn't really right, so it wasn't until the beginning of 2018 that I purchased this one. I don't know the exact month or day um, that I purchased this one, but it was in the beginning of 2018. One thing that I love about this one is he can literally do anything, fix anything. If he doesn't know how to do something, he will learn that day. Um, <laughs> And I mean, look at him. <laughs> but one bad thing, one con about this model is he's taking a little bit longer than usual to upgrade to fiance mode. Uh. So <laughs> hopefully soon we'll upgrade to fiance mode. But until then, this is my boyfriend haul. <laughs> White women love black men because of the power dynamic, because white women have never had any power over men in their lives. Because obviously all the white men in their lives have always had all the power over them. So white women have whiteness over black men. And obviously to be in any sort of like control feels good, especially when you're used to never being in control. White women feel safe with black men, not only because of the hyper-masculinity that they believe black men exhibit, but because of the whiteness and power they hold over black men. This is why also white women can still be racist and be with black men and be like conservative white women will be like married to a black man. And this is why white women love their black sons and hate their black daughters. Black sons give you access to the patriarchy. They give you power, whereas black daughters don't. Black for $500. <laughs> oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh.